you right now on one Baton Rouge police officer is dead. A second officer now fighting for his life following a shooting that happened yesterday afternoon. NBC Local 33's Courtney Williams is live for us this morning outside of Our Lady of the Lake Hospital where that second officer is recovering this morning. Courtney, good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. Well, that Baton Rouge police officer is still continuing to fight here at Our Lady of the Lake Hospital after he and another officer were shot Sunday afternoon. Now, this all played out around 12:30 yesterday afternoon after they were responding to a call and looking for a murder suspect, 36-year-old Ronnie Cato, after he shot and killed 58-year-old Curtis Richardson earlier that morning, and that was on North Pamela Drive, but. Cato was actually on Conrad Drive. The officers were shot as they were attempting to check the yard of the home. And then after they were uh, brought to Our Lady of the Lake Hospital, where one officer died from his injuries. Then a four hour standoff occurred at the home on Conrad Drive. And during that standoff, shots were fired between BRPD as well as Cato. And he was then taken into custody. Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul said the officer killed had served in the department for 21 years. Not only were these police officers public servants, their fathers, husbands, loved by their family, and already dealing with the stress that we have to deal with with this current COVID threat that we're in, still our heroes step up. And the officer that is in critical condition has been with the department for seven years. But at this time, the identity of those officers has not been released to the public. But as we get more developments, we will keep you up to date on air, online, and also on our free BR Proud app. Reporting live at Our Lady of the Lake Hospital, Courtney Williams, NBC Local 33 News.